Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm Paul McGowan. Let's get to our next question. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> this is from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Diego writes, DSD and Class D amps work on a similar concept, right? Mm, well, I was wondering if it could be possible to make a direct DSD power amplifier with the use of the gain cell for the volume control or something like that. Okay, well, Diego, we've got a couple of things kind of mixed in here. Let, let me get to the first the first part of it. I'll, I'll see if I can't do this sort of simply. DSD is a one-bit system that is called pulse density and it uses identical bits. How do I, uh, let's see if I can, let me grab a, a pen. <coughs> Sorry, I guess I wasn't very well organized. We'll draw on here. So if we have a sine wave like this, as the, as the sine wave goes up, there's more energy the higher it goes, right? And this, if we just go here, this, this point is where there is zero energy. And this is where it goes up and this is where it goes down. Now, if you want to reproduce this with DSD, you have a series of, of little bits, one bits. And if there's nothing here, then the bits are either non-existent or very far apart. As the energy level goes up, the density of the, the bits gets greater and greater and greater. They get more and more dense. And when you take that greater density of bits and you run it through a simple filter, which can be as, as, as well, as simple as a, a single capacitor, a low-pass filter, you wind up cutting all these sharp edges off and you'll, I'm not doing a very good job of, of displaying it here, but you'll wind up with the sine wave. So that's DSD. I can use the other side of this thing. Class D amplifiers are a, an entirely different type of uh, format called pulse width modulation instead of pulse density modulation. So pulse width modulation is where we have different, in, in, our, in our same sine wave example, um, go across like that, if as, as the energy level of the sine wave goes up, the pulse width gets longer. And as it gets uh, less energy at the zero crossing point, the pulse width gets shorter. So that's pulse width modulation, which is class D, and pulse density modulation, which is DSD. Now let me see the other part of his question here. Oh, could you make a direct DSD power amplifier? Well, I guess you could. I mean, there certainly have been direct digital amplifiers before. Wadia, I know, worked on their uh, direct digital amplifier. Um, Skip Taylor, I believe, he's a very talented designer. I believe he designed one. A, a few people have done it. Oh, uh, Peter Lingdorf. Can't remember the name of their, their company. But there have been a number of direct digital amplifiers where the output stage is actually the, the final digital switch. But it's very difficult, especially with something like pulse width modulation because you need a filter to get rid of all those sharp edges. And the more power you try and put out into a load like a speaker, the more difficult that kind of filter is to, to eliminate those high frequencies. So yeah, it can be done. It isn't normally done. And I think there are probably better ways to do it. But a great question, and I appreciate you asking. Thanks. Mm -hmm.